You get to pick your partner. You get to pick your family member. It can be Dave Aiken, Chris Dim, or Biggie. And you'll go through a couple of rounds here. Best two out of three. Survey questions. You try to run the uh, entire category or steal it and be a winner. Eddie will pick first. Eddie, you can have Chris Dim, Dave Aiken, or Biggie. Who you got? Biggie, please. Biggie is the choice today. Controversy in this game yesterday. Biggie did not like one of the categories. And, in fact, no, thought, did not. he thought Panera Bread should have been one of the answers. Look, I'll be honest. I thought about walking off the set today. I know, <laughs> I know you did. How much time did you spend at a Burger King yesterday? Maybe? <laughs> he said he was going Enough. to count the people. How many people came in on that yesterday? Aristotle, you can have Dave or Chris Dim. Who you got? Let's go with the big D, Mr. Dave Aiken. The big D, oh. Dave Aiken, is the choice today. Chris Dim will float back and forth and help each team. That means our captains for round one will be Dave and Biggie. Gentlemen, are you ready? I guess so. All right. Come to the center of the ring here. You'll shout your name when you know the best answer to this. All of these are from an actual Family Feud television game. All Mm -hmm. right. 100 people survey. Shout your name when you know the best answer. Top eight answers on the board. We ask, name the most embarrassing place to be when you throw up. Biggie. Hey, Biggie, your car. Show us your car. Or a car. A car. Mm. Not there. Your car is not there. Uh, Dave Aiken. Well, as a kid, I always thought school was the most embarrassing place. Show us school. <laughs> Number six. Number six, five answers. Beat it. And that means that Dave and Aristotle, you can either play or pass. Aristotle, you want to play or pass that. Name the most embarrassing place you to be when you throw up, there are seven answers left. Aristotle, you want to play or pass? Uh, we'll pass that. We're passing it. All okay, right. maybe a smart decision, and that means Chris Dim will float toward Dave Aiken, and float. Eddie will be the next to answer the question. What's the most embarrassing place to be when you throw up? School is number six. You have no strikes, Eddie. What do you say? Work. Show us work. Yeah. <laughs> number three. Work slash boss's desk to throw up. So, embarrassing place to be. Six answers left, no strikes. Work slash your boss's desk. School. Biggie. How about uh, at the bar? Show us. restaurant. At the bar. (laughs) Restaurant, buffet, and bar are all there. All right. Restaurant, buffet, and bar. Number two. Number two. All right. We have five answers left and no strikes. Eddie, what do you say? Party. Most embarrassing place to be when you throw up. Show us a party. Mm. Not there. Almost expected. Yeah. (laughs) At least in the parties in your mind, right? (laughs) Ones you never went to. I was never at high school parties, but, you know, puking around. People were like, puking rally. I Mm. never heard it. I was never there. All right. I witnessed it at that wedding. (laughs) Oh, that's right. It's not two months ago. That's right. You saw people puking. I did. You saw, and and, and, then, and within an hour, we're goodness. back. Back out there mm-hmm. at it again. Biggie, you have five inches left, including the number one. Most embarrassing place to be when you throw up. Restaurant, buffet, bar is number two. Work or your boss's desk is number three. And school is number six. Biggie, what do you say? Chris Dem just said it. A wedding. Show us. Ooh. A wedding. Yep, that's when yes, I wrote it down. Number four. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I didn't realize that was happening. Thanks, Dem. Very cagey. Sorry. Four answers left. One strike. Eddie, most embarrassing place to be when you throw up. What do you say? Date. Show us on a date. <laughs> Not there. Not mentioned. Two strikes. Now, Biggie, you have to come up with one to keep it alive. Most embarrassing place to be when you throw up. So far, gone are restaurant, buffet, or bar. Work, your boss's desk. Wedding and school. You have four answers left. Biggie. At a sporting event. Show us. Like an arena or a football stadium. Show us at a sporting event like an arena or football stadium. (laughs) Not there. You've struck out. Maybe the strategy that Aristotle employed will pay off here. As he and Dave go for the steal, Chris Dem and Aristotle can give answers to Dave. There are four left, including the number one. Name the most embarrassing place to be when you throw up. Chris Dem, suggestion. Well, uh, I wrote prom, mm-hmm. funeral, mm-hmm. church, mm-hmm. doctor's office. 
Prom, funeral, church, doctor's office. A lot there to choose from. Eddie, you uh, have some suggestions. Or excuse me, Aristotle, you have some suggestions as well. Um, I had church or like a job interview. Um, yeah, church and job interview. Dave, uh, choice is yours here. You're the captain. I had some of those as well. I had. Uh, I also wrote down, although I don't know why, bed. Bed. If nobody's there. <laughs> But it is the worst. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, you've got to clean it up. That's and, right. And, and, if, and if there is somebody there with you, then it's oh, even God. worse. Oh, God. It is bad. And yeah. then I said, like, a holiday dinner. I, I mm -hmm. don't know. Mm -hmm. But since Chris Dim said it, and yep. since Aristotle said it, yep. I'm going to go with church, synagogue, mosque. All right. <laughs> For the win in round one and a steal, show us church, synagogue, or mosque. <laughs> Number one answer, church. In fact, it's the only one you all have given that was on there. Surprising. Oh, really? Shocked yeah, yeah. That that's no that theater? No, no theater. No. One, church. Two, restaurant, bar, buffet. Three, work. Four, wedding. Five, bus or train. Didn't give you car because it's public yeah. transportation. Six, school. Seven, your in-law's house. I was thinking like a holiday dinner, like Christmas or yeah. Thanksgiving. You know, yeah. aeroplane would be a better answer than in-law. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And eight, a department store. Oh, I, nice. I said I store. Walk. I had store written Oh, down. you had store written But down. I didn't. Uh, yeah. You have a barf bag on a plane. I guess maybe that's the you thinking. Do. Yeah, but yeah. it's still embarrassing. Yeah, oh, it it's is. very embarrassing. Yeah. Could try to make it to the bathroom, but it is embarrassing to puke on a plane. I've no, never just, done it. Just the yeah. sound. Things awful, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, clear the decks here. Aristotle and Dave win round one. Round two, our captains are going to be Eddie and Aristotle. They'll have to shout their name when they know the best answer to this. Eddie, are you ready, sir? Eddie, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Aristotle, you're ready? Yes, sir. Shout your name when you know the best answer to this. 100 people surveyed. Top six answered on the board. Fill in the blank. You wish you could make love as often as you make blank. Aristotle. Aristotle, what do you say? Enemies. I wish I could make love. <laughs> As often as I make enemies. That's my partner. That's my partner. That's your guy. That's, That's my guy. He thought about it. He's Aristotle. Eddie, that I is not the streets there. making these enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I was making love. Wish I could make love as much as I'm out here doing this. <laughs> Eddie, you can steal that now. I wish I could make love as often as I make blank. What do you say? Mistakes. Show us mistakes. <laughs> Number four is mistakes. So you can play or pass that, Eddie. What would you like to do? Pass. Passing. Okay. Aristotle will play with Dave. You guys get to go back and forth now. Fill in the blank. I wish I could make love as often as I make blank. Mistakes is number four. David, you have uh, five answers left and no strikes. Go ahead. Uh, dinner or a meal? Show us a meal. Number one answer, meal slash coffee. All right. Oh. Meal or coffee. I make that. Okay. That's the number one answer. Four left, no strikes. Aristotle, I wish I could make love as often as I make blank. What do you say? Um, go to the bathroom. Show us. Make, <laughs> make toilet. I have it down. Make toilet. <laughs> I did too. I'd make water. <laughs> Yeah, it's on there. Number two. You know it is. PP -pee or duty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number two. As often as I make duty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Let's get a slow in, zoom in on Steve Harvey's face. <laughs> PP or duty. Y'all, come on now. <laughs> Number two. You have no strikes, Dave. You have half of them gone here. Uh, I wish I could make love as often as I make meals or coffee. PP or duty <laughs> and mistakes. Dave, three left, no strikes. Um, make make it to work. Show uh, us make it to work. <laughs> Not there. Not there. Go back over to Aristotle. There are three answers left. What do you say, Aristotle? Um. Oh man. Uh, pay bills. Show us as often as I pay bills. <laughs> Not there. Two strikes now. Jeez. David. 
Nope, and that was three. Mm -hmm. One more to you. Um, I wish I could make love as often as I make blank. <laughs> mm. Uh. Make it to the porn site. Show us. <laughs> Make it to the porn site. <laughs> not, not there. Chance to steal. See, now that's not right. I know. <laughs> I hear you. Chance to steal. now, And you must steal to stay in this game. Eddie's the captain. I mean, Chris the frequency. Dib, Chris Dib and Biggie will give answers here. Well, Dave took mine. Fill in the blank. <laughs> lucky. I wish I could make love as often as I make blank. Meals or coffee, PP or duty, and mistakes. Uh, Chris Dim, you have some chances to give here. Well, I... I'm trying to think of things that you make. So I said, make money mm -hmm. and make excuses. Money and excuses. Big. I thought make excuses. Mm -hmm. I thought uh, make time for friends and family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. This is for the tie here, Eddie. You must get it to steal it. Eddie, you have the choice. You can take any one of those or go out on your own. What do you want to say? I thought making money and making time, too. I guess I'll say make money. All right. For the tie here to steal this round, show us making money. Yeah. Almost gave that for work, but it's not quite the same, you know? No, it's not the same. Not the same. Not the same. I wasn't thinking money when I said it. How about make it to the gym? Nope. Here they are. That's number three, by the way, is money. Wish I could make love as often as I make meals. PP or duty, money, mistakes, my bed. As often oh, as I make my bed. bed. Yeah. A mess. As often as I make a mess. It's a, a mess. mess. All right. We got a round three here. Biggie to the center of the room. Dave to the center of the room. All right. All right. Quickie here. Please. This is for the round. This is for the game right here. Top four answers on the board. 100 people surveyed. Shout your name when you know the best answer to this. Name something that might come out of a person's nose. Dave. Dave. Snot. Show snot. <laughs> Number one answer. <laughs> Number one answer. Was S it mucus? Snot, mucus, or booger. All right. All there. <laughs> Snot's fun, man. Uh, Aristotle, you can play or pass. Only three answers left. Name something that might come out of a person's nose. Booger and snot and mucus are gone. <laughs> Aristotle, you want to play or pass? We'll play. All right. That oh. means Chris Dim, Biggie, you all for Eddie. Think of an answer to steal. Aristotle, what do you say? Uh, does all liquids count or? I'll just have to say. Just say Wait. an answer. Okay. Uh, milk. Show us milk. <laughs> Number two is milk or all drinks. So Ooh. he's right. Yeah. Also, all drinks are gone. Milk, oh, really? Milk and orange juice. So soda's off the board. So soda, orange juice, milk are all off the board. It's drinks. Okay. Two answers left. Dave, no strike. Something that come out of a person's nose. Booger, snot, mucus, drinks. <laughs> Dave. I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> that was almost the name of the show. <laughs> well, I don't like to think about it, and it's another gross answer, but I'm going to say vomit. Show a... Ugh, vomit. <laughs> it does, though. It does. It's gross. Nah. Ugh, it hurts. <laughs> Aristotle. Two answers left now. One strike. Name something that would come out of a person's nose. Let's go with your breath. Your breath. Your Ooh. breath would come out of your nose. That's a good answer. Show it to us. <laughs> Not there, David. Two answers left. No. Uh, two strikes. Now you have to come up with one. Uh, smoke from my ciggy. Show us smoke from his cigarette. <laughs> Oh, that's a good strike answer. Out, strike out, strike out. And now, out interesting, we have a chance to steal. I thought playing was the right decision. Eddie, suggest an answer to your partner, Biggie. He's your captain here, and then Chris Dimble suggests as well. What do you say, Eddie? Blood or snoring, sneezing. He says blood or snoring. 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 Okay. Noise. Yeah. Uh, Chris Dim. Brain fluid. <laughs> We have blood, we have snoring, we have brain fluid. Biggie, the floor is yours. All this... I could think of was cocaine. Okay. <laughs> oh, all those are good. <laughs> However, uh -huh. I did also write down blood. Blood. Uh -huh. So I feel as though blood is the answer. Okay. Remember... <laughs> Who's saying that? You remember uh, England and John, John Ford. Okay. Blood you, is the answer. You were so upset yesterday when it was over Panera, over bread. Panera Bread. Let's give you some blood. Yeah, blood. thank you. I was a surprise y'all didn't come up with that. Blood, yeah. yeah. Bloody nose. Yeah. And that's a win for Biggie and Eddie today. Does that clear the board? Blood's number three. No, four has not been mentioned. Hair. 
Ah. He wrote it down. He wrote it down here. You know, I have problems with that. When you're older. Oh. You right. really do. Okay. Right. Yeah.